Yo, what's going on guys, Vosith here, and in this Borderlands video I'm going to be showing you all a quick way to farm up class mods, relics, and legendaries, including the brand new Gearbox legendaries for Borderlands 1, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, the remastered version, whatever you would want to dub that out to be, the version that came out here recently. Now, to start this process out, you want to load your game in the Underdome, that is the location of choice, because we have this machine here, a good place place for you to farm level 69 legendaries before you travel to the vault itself. For those of you who may have not known, it's impossible to farm a level 69 legendary through a regular chest or a crimson chest, so hitting a machine and going through the item of the day are one of the ways in which you can pick up level 69 oranges. Gearbox weapons, however, are exempt from this rule, and one thing you'll notice through using this method is they will be your matching level no matter what level you are. So even when you're capped out, you actually can find the gearbox oranges at level 69, which is pretty cool. Another thing I noticed is when farming Cromorax even, when these weapons drop at their highest level, which again is that cap off, the stats, parts, and the quality of the gun are preset and they match the ones in this chest. So instead of farming Cromorax, if you're looking to pick those up immediately, you can just come here and do so, which is really neat. Additionally, this is a great way to pick up some semi-decent class mods that you can use in post-game and you'll be able to pick up those relics at the same time to cap off all your action skill elements. That's really important. I know one of my pet peeves is when I want to switch to an element and use an action skill and I'm seeing that that said element is not maxed out. It drives me insane. So all you need to do is just rinse and repeat this. The only thing you need to keep in mind is to obviously A, hit the machine in the underdome. That's obviously one of the most important things because you never know when you're going to get something good or something awesome might just be sitting in the machine waiting to be purchased. And another cool thing is if you feel like you're going to be short on money, you could always sell the weapons, relics, grenade mods, whatever it may be in these chests. The most expensive things, just bring it back to the underdome and then purchase your item. So this is just a great way to once again climb up to post game and then obviously get that kick booster to get your post game off to a strong start before you take on obviously the road to the armory and Cromrax himself. B is obviously to save your game in the underdome. Make sure that you are exiting in the underdome. One thing about farming is you get absorbed into what you're doing. You start listening to the music. Next thing you know, you make an oops somewhere and it ruins the process and slows everything down. Now, if you exit in the vault, one thing you're going to notice right off the get-go is all these chests will disappear and you will obviously have to teleport to the Underdome, exit out, load the game in the Underdome, and then restart the process again. However, you might run into a little bug to where, even though you're exiting in the Underdome to restart that chain and reboot your game up, it keeps spawning you in the vault because the game is not saving. Now, to break this cycle, just simply swap a few weapons with each other, so take the things in your backpack and swap them for what you're carrying, and that should prompt it to kick in a save, because one thing about Borderlands 1, and that one thing that it was always lacking was a consistent and constant saving system. So sometimes you just need to give it that extra kick so that way you're spawning in the proper position. So if you run into that, that's the fix for you. But that is the gist of what you need to know. In this closing clip, you're gonna see me get two legendaries in the same chest. That's actually never happened for me. I've gotten two pearlescents in the same chest, but this is the first time in such a small chest at least that I've had two oranges appear in the same opening so that was pretty neat but I hope you guys enjoy this method hopefully you get some cool items from this and hopefully it makes your playthrough and obviously post game that much easier this has been Vosite if you guys enjoyed this one definitely leave a like on the video thank you guys so much for watching later